Good afternoon. Welcome to Music Scrap, the musical scrapper. It is a very warm, very humid day on the east coast of Canada. Just walking to get clean water and I'm dripping even with the AC on. Granted, my legs are wrapped like mummy, which doesn't help. But anyway, so let me get my chat popped out and on the left side of my screen. So I can see it the way my computer is popped out. Let's get Manny Cam on front. Okie dokie. So I'm just waiting for some people to come in. And while I'm waiting, I am going to re-swatch my Kramer paints. Um they come with this swatch, but they don't have, they just have the num pigment numbers, not the names. Hello, Ian. Hello, Barb. Nice to see you. And I tried to write in the actual numbers, uh, names from the Kremer site, Cre Creamer site. I guess it's Creamer. I always want to say Kremer, but there's not two M's. So I guess it's Creamer. Oh. Wow. Sorry. I'm just... Uh, Glistening. Actually, I don't glisten. I sweat like a hog. Ugh, like my dad did. Oh, hello, Joycey. Nice to see you. Hi, Dr. Dot and Helen. Hello, Gail and Dar. Nice to see you guys all popping in. All right, so I'm just going to... Uh, Spritz my pan. So this is the Creamer Watercolor Set Number One, and these were gifted to me by Darren, who also gifted me the um. Once I finally realized and finally remembered, um, she also my um watercolor journal which I love it's 100% watercolor cheap joe's in store brand it's really nice so i am going to play with my creamers today since i haven't i've used them I think like twice and then totally forgot about them so i thought ooh i better haul those back out okay All right, I only have three silver black velvet so far. I got the round set. So I have the four, eight, and then 12. So four, eight, and 12. I'm going to use the number eight, I think. So the first color, I'm not going to give you the number. This is permanent yellow medium. So this will be your cool yellow. I really need to go get my hair cut. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to get up. I'm going to wash my hair. This is pyramid yellow medium, they call it. This is your warm yellow. Oh, no, Galena, I can't dye my hair. My hair only takes with permanent dyes and only for 
like two weeks. Even with a permanent dye, it'll only stay in my hair for two weeks because I have no pigment for the dye to attach itself to. I, I did low lights before. Um, but I am so bald on the top. Like, I am so bald on the top. I can't color my hair because then the bald will really show up. So the next one is titanium orange. So it's a very nice, um, like, kind of a neutral orange, really. Yummy orange. I like that. That's like the oranges I was making by using my M grain permanent permanent orange and adding uh, burnt umber to it. <laughs> okay. Next one is red, simply red. So and this is your cool red. I mean, your warm red, excuse me. But it's really not, it's not as warm as some reds are, but. And then the next one they call ruby, and it's kind of like similar to your alizarin crimson. Sorry, I keep dripping on my page here. I need a paper towel. Oh, didn't pick up enough at all. And then the next one is Venetian Red. So this is similar to what Dee Dee was talking about the other day in her pen pastels. I think it said like that it was an English Red, Venetian Red, English Red, very similar. They're like a, I would say, it, I call it like a rosy terracotta. So it's terracotta, but a little bit on the rose red side instead of the orangey, orangey side, but like an old faded brick color, basically, like Venetian clay. So the next one is, they say burnt sienna number three, burnt sienna number three. So they must make more than one burnt sienna at Creamer. Oops. Didn't pick up enough pigment. It's, it's like kind of a. So that burnt sienna is. Um, it is not as orange as some burnt siennas are. So that's, I like that. Now on theirs, it looks more orange, but on what I got here. So I'm going to just dry these before I go on to my second row here make sure they don't uh... oh red oxide pr 101 oh okay tuscan yeah yeah do they don't they don't on my screen they're very vibrant on my screen so i'm not sure Ooh. Oh, that's my, oh, okay. That's, sorry about my ceiling light there. I'll, it won't be as much of an issue when I, sorry. 
No, on, on my screen, Dot, they're very vibrant. This is just a piece of uh, Fabriano hot press that I printed out the names on. And all right, so the next one, uh, cobalt blue dark. They have the numbers here, so I guess if you want to mix or compare, you can go on to the Kremer site. They have um, downloads that show all their pigment, their pigment numbers and the color names. And I prefer to go by name than pigment number because I don't ever like compare one brand to another. Uh, I don't usually mix my palettes, although there's no reason you can't. Cobalt blue light is like your cerulean blue, so it's your cool blue. Cobalt blue dark is, it's not quite as warm as an ultramarine, but it's pretty close. It's neutral. It's not cold. It's not cool either. But the light is like your cerulean blue, so that's your cool blue. Then they include cobalt turquoise, cobalt blue turquoise, which of course is probably like Z's favorite color. I need to spritz these again. They're already drying because I've got my fan on in here. Oh, hey, Eileen, bow time. You like that Venetian red? Yes. I knew you would like that, Joycey. That's definitely your color. I actually love it too. Like my three favorite colors are green, um, terracotta, and browns. Like this kind of brown or burnt umber brown. Burnt sienna, burnt umber brown with terracotta and green. Those are my three favorite colors. Okay, so next we have... Uh, phthalo green, which some companies call oh, Viridian. Okay, hold on. Yeah, they don't uh, got to get used to the um, pickup. They don't wet quite as easily as my M Grimm's, so I'm just kind of not quite used to that. Okay, and then this one is Chrome Oxide Green, which is, let me see, I've used them before. It's a, like an olive green, but on the, somewhere between like a sap and olive of green but on the sap green side but neutralized it's a very nice natural green actually i'm gonna pull a little bit of that up it's a very nice natural green and pull too much up i want about half of it dark there we go so it's, it's a really nice natural green. Hey, Linda Kay. That's true, Ian, um, especially with blues, because blues, um, as you know, blue is the only color that does not absorb light so sometimes blue your blues and purples can really get distorted which is probably why this one oh, it's not too bad but it has some blue in it so obviously it's going to be a, 
a little distorted in the color too. All right, so now the next one is raw umber. Oh, excuse me, Ugh. raw sienna. Raw sienna, which you can use as your neutral yellow in. Okay, hold on. You can use it as neutral yellows in your sunsets and etc. Uh, sienna, very similar to a yellow ochre. Okay, and then the last one is burnt umber. They also call it dark brown. Oh, that's a lovely brown. Yes. I like their burnt umber. It's very pretty. Okay, so those are the colors I have in my palette. They're full pans. Hey, B3. Hey, Kathy. Nice to see you. Your screen has been color calibrated. Yay, Dot. <laughs> oh, girl, there. Yeah, Joycey. All right, so I am going back to, and now you can see my printer. And what's really interesting about this, you can see that my colors are not, it's uh, smudging just a little bit here, but I mean, I got water on those and it's not smudging bad. And this is actually just with cheap ink that I got on Amazon. So instead of paying 15 bucks per color cartridge for my printer, I pay uh, $24 for my six cartridges plus an extra black. And those are XL inks, so they last longer. Um, and... I, I don't buy those cheap inks until my warranty's done on my printer. But, uh, yeah, they're not bleeding not badly at all. Okie dokie. So, on to, now that I have the names, because this comes, this is what comes with it. They have it swatched out. But with just the numbers, and it wasn't big enough for me. So, all right. So, so far, sunny days. Delicious food. Hi, Shy. How do these compare? Um, I'll be able to tell you more, Kathy, at the end. I've only used them once before. So, so far, all I can say is that they don't wet quite as quickly as my M. Grams or my Shihan. But, I mean, definitely still wet way better than my, like, student ones that I had. That I'll never even use again. My Windsor and Newton um, Cotman. Thanks, Galena. Then, oh, this one was primary colors. So I used cerulean, no, uh, yeah, cerulean blue. I used um, alizarin crimson. And I used my, um, well, lemon yellow. That's not called lemon yellow in um they have tons of pigment they have lots of pigment so they're very vibrant but i haven't used them enough to fairly compare them to my shinhan pwcs which is their highest professional ones or my m grams this was family times just ignore that i hate that part of it i'm not totally fond of my fire either but anyway mm -hmm. 
Then blue, um, shades of blue was this prompt. And then the simple things was this one. This is like my favorite one so far. Oh, I got something on it. Oh, big shocker. My, my table's dirty in my picture. The simple things, and of course, there's nothing more simple than a lovely glass of water. Love how that one turned out. Uh, games. What, what? Wait now. What was this one called? We went camping with um, playing games. Uh, we went camping with National Campers and Hikers Association, which doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately. A family camping group. And um, my dad loved playing horseshoes with the guys. So this is an honor of my dad. Thanks, Joycey. And then flying high, so I did my kite. Climbing mountains. I really like this one, too. I like how this one turned out. Hey, Mindy. Luminous and light and luminous was this one. So I did the uh, Northern Lights or the Areola Borealis, Aurora Borealis, however you say it, you know. I don't know. I may have to fix those. I think I have to add some more darks to those clouds. Right now, they just look like blotches. They don't look like clouds. I think I need to add more texture. But and then blooms, um, something blooms. Beautiful blooms. I'm way behind because of my art project. And forest animals. I really like this. This is the first animal that I painted that I like how it turned out. And I decided not to try to do, well, actually, this, this particular bird didn't have a lot of texture um, of um Feathers that I could see, he looked more really like silky on the front. So they must be very, very fine feathers on the front. And so I just decided not to do any detail of feathers and just leave the color. All right, so. Okay. That's as far as I've gotten so far. Oh, I don't know why I tore that out. This Kilimanjaro has the drawing paper in between for... Sorry, I'm just reaching for a... Okay. So... The next one is fast and loose. And I'm like, <sighs> there was a map, a movie called Fast and Loose, but yeah, no, I wasn't gonna paint something from that. So I just thought I would do something like Janet did today. I'm not gonna like it because I don't like this technique, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm going to spray my whole page then I'm just gonna drop in some paint and see what flowers appear. So what color? I think I'm going to use yellow and orange. All right. I 
I'm not going to go right to the edge because I'm going to kind of do this with a, like a, Uh, kind of like a vignette style. This is 100% cotton paper. Cheap Joe's in-store brand, Kilimanjaro. And I may have to order myself some. I know the shipping will be expensive and... So the exchange rate, but I really like this journal. Okay. All right. Actually, I think I'm going to use my medium size. Okay, I'm going to have to spritz them, obviously, get them flow more. Uh oh. Hold on, I gotta put this down flat here. Darn it, I meant to do that before I started. Or you're not gonna get anything that looks near like a flower. All right. I need to get some orange ready to go in here. See, told you I'm not going to like this. And it doesn't look at all like Janet's cool stuff that she got with hers. It's like Freaking weird stuff. Hey, Janet. Like, really? Janet puts pigment down and she gets this beautiful tiger lily. I put pigment down and I get blobs. Ugh. See, my mom always told me being fast and loose was bad for you. It was really bad. Yeah, I could just skip this one. Totally skip it. Nice green. Totally different from sap, the sap green I have in my M grams. 
I like this. I wish it came in a tube because then I could add it to my M. Graham palette. Hmm. like buttercups it doesn't look like tulips it doesn't look like anything except a mess See, this is where my this one's not too bad. I could make that into a daisy easy. <laughs> Joyce. Oh, that's true. Oh, I know, Kathy. I know. Obviously. Obviously it is the wrong colors. This one looks like a ghost or a heart. Okay, this one I'm going to work on because I think I might be able to do something with this one. Obviously, it's not going to look like any real flower, so... I'll just uh, make it my Yes, Jean, way too much pigment. Ugh. Got a paper towel ready to go here. Okay, I like that better. All right. 
I'm going to go back and do the other. So I'm putting in the titanium orange. Then instead of going in with the wet brush, I'm going in with my yellow. Of course, now I've got to take some off because I've got too much. No idea what to do with those other shapes because they just look like nothing. Of course, I don't know much about flowers, so that doesn't really help. The fact that I don't know anything about flowers and what they look like doesn't help my imagination. I'm not really into flowers because, I mean... My eyesight, I don't I mean, I have to be nose to nose with a flower to really notice much. All I know is that yellow roses are my favorite. But the only flower worth it to me are my yellow roses. Okay, so they're very pigmented. Of course, I've only used a couple colors so far. Tell ya, I love my M grams so much, so it's gonna be tough competition, but we'll see. By the end of today, I'll have a little better idea. I mean, I'm certainly no expert, so it's not like my word is gospel. It would simply be a personal preference. Hold on. Let's see. Yellow primrose. Oh. 
<laughs> so I'm pretty close to the yellow primrose, except it's going to need Should have done the yellow. Should have done the green first, so I picked most of it up, and I'm going to do the green. And then the dot of brown. Oops, sorry. I'm not even hitting my pan. Need to use my bigger a lot. I didn't mean to make that that large, that thick, but it is what it is. Hello, Sharon. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so. Need this one looks like it's closed, so not open. Um, so I need to put buds. I guess it's kind of turning into a tulip, but 
whatever, whatever works, works. Water there, my pan. Let's see how well this orange picks up. Okay, see Janet, while it's uh, while your while your paint is still wet, go in with a clean, dry brush, and you can remove some pigment. Sorry, I need to fix my uh, display on my iPad so it doesn't lock every two minutes. All right. I'm not really following that primrose now. Anyway, I'm just kind of making up my own flower. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the pyramid yellow, which is the <coughs> warmer yellow. Right now I'm using the Silver Black Velvet 8. I was using, on this one I used the 4. But on this one I'm switched to the number 8. Silver Black Velvet. If that's what Joycey was talking about, the brush. I'm still, these are new to me, so I am still getting used to my Silver Black Velvet. I love them. But... They hold a lot more water, so it just takes getting, got to use them, got to put it, put up, put the miles on. Putting a little warm in here as well. All right, and I think what I'm going to do, all right, now I'm going to go in with my smaller brush here. And I'm going to try and uh, uh, there's my little my little stiff brush here. Where'd it go? This is, since this is dry, I'm going in with a very small, stiffer brush. This one's not a hog hair, but it is an acrylic brush, so it is stiffer. To go in and remove some of that paint down the center to give that a little bit of roundness. my liner brush oh, hold on I've got to fix the handle of my liner brush is like ultramarine blue all over it because I stuck my fingers in ultramarine blue the other day and I got it all over everything Put 
put that in the garbage because if I use can do if I use that again. So I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna take a little bit of that green and I'm going to mix a little bit of the burnt umber with it to darken it. <laughs> Hold on. You can't see here. They look like chicks. Oh, they do a little, don't they? I What I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to just leave these two, um, just like this one here. I'm going to leave those as um, background faded. Uh, Wow, okay. I think it's just the heat here today, but I have to keep spritzing. Okay. And I wanna do didn't do that very well, did I? Please do not leave a comment that these are not botanically correct. <laughs> I'm sure they're not even close, and that's not what I'm doing. The prompt was fast and loose, and it was not fast enough, and probably not as loose as it should have been, but hey. All right, I'm leaving it. It's done. I know there's only two, not three, but eh. Whatever. Fast and loose. One. Woo. All right, so this is prompt. All right, I need to switch some of my containers around here because 
that are not where I want them. I think it's 13. Well, let me check. 12. Prompt 13. Okay, Jillian. Okay. Um, Paint Girly, if you're getting choppy video and you downloaded the software from the CD that came or the DVD that came with the camera, uninstall it, go to the Logitech um, website and download the latest software. And that might fix your problem. If it doesn't fix your problem, then your computer may not be up to date enough. Jillian. Okay. So the next prompt, number 14, is I'm way behind because it's what the 20, like second, third, and I'm only on 14, but that's all right. Sweet treats. Ah, yes, sweet treats. Now, um, I can't show the video or the I can't show the photo because it's from um, a website I found on Pinterest. It's from floatingkitchen.net, and it actually has the recipe for spicy tequila sunrise popsicles. There's the link. So there's the link to the recipe, and then you can see the picture. So I need to sketch first. Oh, yes. Okay. So these need to move over one more spot. I switched out my... Took my... Uh, brushes out of the brush holder that I bought and put them back into these containers. Just, I like it better the, than the brush holder. Of course, I put them in here when they're wet. So the ones I use most often <laughs> end up staying there anyway. All right, so I need my... Pencil. This is just a regular mechanical pencil. I refill it with 0.7 leads. Yeah, well, 
I didn't start out so hard, Jane. You can't even draw straight lines for goodness sakes. Oh, that's a little too wide, Jean. See, I talk to myself all the time. Even if you guys weren't here, I would have said that. So I'm just sketching out three popsicles. And since they're tequila sunrise, they're going to be uh, reddish orange to orange to yellow. But they're all going to start with wash of the lemon yellow the cool yellow because that'll give them a nice a nice glow for the undertone uh oh shy are you going to make one <laughs> shy goes be right back yum <laughs> anyway okay so i need to make some mixes here i'm gonna put this over here for a moment Those are probably the three colors I'm going to need. So I'm going to need some of this lovely yellow. I'm going to need some of the warm yellow. Going to need some of this. I do prefer my um, ceramic palette. Oops, got some orange there, but I'm going to need it anyway, so it's okay. Because this beads up quite badly. I 
Yeah, definitely prefer my All right. Background first. I'm going to do a slightly different uh, background than what's in the picture. Well, I'm going to do a completely different background than what's in the picture. Sorry, itchy nose. So my competition piece is at the post office. We'll be going out. Well, I think I might have had it there early enough to go. I think I had it early enough to go with the. 1230 mail. I'm not sure. And I've got the tracking number. Two business days. 27 bucks later. Just to go three hours down. It's annoying. But anyway. Actually, it'll go to Halifax first and then back to Glasgow. <coughs> because. Canada Post is silly that way. Okay. I'm probably going to have to wet that again just because. Oh, sorry, I've got a, I think it's a hair falling down my nose. Definitely going to get my hair cut tomorrow. Got it cut a couple of weeks ago, but I kind of chose to leave it all one length, and I should have known better. I should have known that I wasn't going to like it, but anyway. try it. Let's see if it's wet enough or not. I apologize for the sniffling, but it's bad allergies in this humidity. I have enough allergies that it doesn't matter what season it is. There's always a kitchen out of it. This is the cobalt blue light.
which is similar to a cerulean blue. Now go in. And I'm not sure I have enough water left, so I'm just going to wet some areas here. I'm going to have to go back in when it's completely dry because it's dried too much on me. So. Okay, heat gun, where'd you go? <coughs> Follow the wire, fell off the... Hi, Mary! Nice to see you. Working on my watercolor prompts. Anyone who has come in since I said hello. This takes a while to dry because it is 100% watercolor. It's not the real thick, it's like 100 pound or whatever. <laughs> Did I figure it out? Yes. So now I'm going to go back. Oh, whoa. Sorry about that. I grabbed a wire. So now I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in with my squirrel mix round brush by Zen. Because it's not quite as soft. It's still a watercolor, so it's still very soft. But it's not quite as soft as my black velvet, silver black velvet. And it doesn't hold quite as much water, but it'll hold enough to get my clouds. may have to do another layer but 
It's just the background, so I don't really know. By the way, everyone, able to rejoice is our Joycey, and she uh, streams Wednesdays at 1 Eastern. All right. just want to make it look like the sky. All right. So now each of these is going to get a first layer. Uh-oh. I still have some orange in there from... Let's get the orange out of there. going to get a first layer of the permanent yellow meeting which is your cool yellow azo yellow lemon yellow something like that I guess I need more uh, water in there. That's a little more pigment than I need. My first layer. And while that's still wet, Now I'm going to switch to the orange. Gene, that was bad. See if I can lift that or not. I can, sort of. Now switching to the warmer yellow. Now the next one I'm going to do slightly differently to see how better it works.
and I totally messed up my edge. Okay, so for the next one, Going to do the lemon yellow. Oh, sorry, permanent yellow. Permanent yellow medium. Okay, that's a that's a better amount of control of pigment. Now for this one, I'm going to dry the first layer. Bismuth yellow. What what um, brand of watercolor do you use, Ian? I've got several of your videos in my uh to watch later list but with my art contest i haven't had a lot of time to uh watch switch to my smaller brush just because it will uh, for the pigment because it will pick up less uh, pigment and less water so now I'm gonna wet We'll see which version kind of works out better as far as Windsor Newton. Oh, you have, okay. The only Windsor Newton professional one I have is the uh, Opera Rose because I couldn't really find that in M. Graham. So. So this is called glazing when you do a wet on wet layer over another dry or no, is it supposed to be? Oh, I may have misspoken. Glazing may be supposed to be wet on, oh, I can't remember. 
put on dry, isn't it? I'm going to have to do another layer of red because there's not enough red there, but there's still too much orange. So since it's too orange, when I do gold, I'm going to start the gold right up and then move down. Yeah, I don't like the way these these do not blend like my M grams do, that's for sure. I don't know, maybe I'm not doing it right. I don't know, but they do not flow and blend like my M grams. I mean, granted, I'm not done. This is just my... first layer, but oh, they're all misshapen even. Oh, I didn't even get the angle right on that. Well, dang it. Dang nab it. You can't fix it because if I move it out, it's going to be plain. Bye, Brenda B3. Cardio drumming class. Ooh, that sounds fun. These are creamers. Yeah, they're not my favorite. They have lovely pigments, they just, they're not, they're not flowing like my M grams at all, not even close. Ooh, goodness, well that was fun. back to my eight. So Creamer mix these, mixes these right in their store. It's the place where uh, Z went to do the her mixing there on the weekend.
to add a little more water to this orange. I mean, that could be the issue. Maybe I'm just not mixing enough water with it, too. That could be the reason. Maybe I'm not. And maybe working on my porcelain palette might have helped as well instead of... And let me add more water. Um, I stream Mondays at 4 Eastern and Thursdays at 1 Eastern. And occasionally an impromptu, but not very often. Hey, Teresa. Nice. Hey, Debbie, are you streaming after me tonight? Okay. So that is kind of the first one and a half layers, two layers, 11 yellow layer, and then one first of my color layers. So now I need to do more color layers. So, sorry, I've got my external battery plugged in here and the wires hanging in my way. All right. So... That's still a little wee bit wet. So I'm gonna go back to this one. So now, so I think not enough water was my biggest issue. So, I mean, it's only my second time painting them with them and I just did two small Yes, sometimes Dr. Dot has to wake me up. But of course, sometimes Dr. Dot falls asleep in my stream too. So, you know. Interesting. That red really spreads when and re-wets. That's interesting. Very, very interesting. So I... I'm going to add some and let it run. Da 
downhill. Kind of what I want. Come on, keep moving down there, you. I like the way that's flowed there. So I'm going to let that dry. What's going on? With my, sorry, my thing collapsed again on me. All right, so now this one, that's totally misshapen. Oh, Debbie, what do you think of uh, what do you think of Big Brother this week? <laughs> yeah, I know. I call Joyce Super 7 Tada Tada is what my nickname for her because she saved me in my in a dream once. Yeah. I had a terrible neighbor who used to yell at me just for talking when we used to hang out on stickum all the time, way back when. She was a neighbor from H-E double hockey sticks, let me tell you. I couldn't even talk on the phone. I couldn't, couldn't do anything. So this one night I dreamt that Joycey 
knocked on my neighbor's door and she bopped her on the nose and told her to leave me alone. So she's my superhero. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know what she was thinking. Uh, I know, like, I know why she did it, but I think what she should have done was she should have just pretended to listen to them and then just made her choices the way she wanted to. Yeah, talking about Big Brother, folks. Sorry. All right, so now I've got to get frosty here. And we'll find out how well these lift. If they don't lift, I'll have to use white. But I prefer to lift to get the frosty look. But we'll see. I need a clean spot on my paper towel. And my medium, I think I'm going to use my medium. Mm. Oh, did that, did the one I want end up on the, oh, maybe I'll use this one. I think I'll use my angle brush. I'll be able to get my Ew, my clean water's getting a little dirty somehow. Yeah, <laughs> I won't get them all done in July, but same thing happened last year, so. No worries. Now, the thing is, I know that this works with my M grams, but we'll see if it will work with these or not. I still may have to add. Oh. Oh, no, no, they're lifting okay. They're lifting fine.
acrylic April. Hmm. I, the only painting I've done with acrylic is like art journaling. I've not really done painting, painting like this with acrylic. Other than <laughs> the couple of, um, paint nights that I've taught, but, uh, So I guess you could say I've done like three acrylic. <laughs> I've taught paint night, but I haven't. It's not something I don't enjoy it nearly as much as I enjoy watercolor. I do it because it would be just way too difficult to teach paint night with watercolor. Unless I did it as a, if I did it as a business and bought the, I don't know, like white night watercolors or something enough for each student or students to share, um, that would be the only way to do watercolor classes, paint nights. And it's just way easier to do it with acrylic and have them get a, a decent result, I think, anyway. Oh, I'm making lots of smudges on this today. Dang it. Yeah, Ian. Well, I'll keep that in mind for when April comes around. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll be ready to go back to doing some art journaling then. I didn't want to go back and forth between acrylic and watercolor while I was learning watercolor because I just wanted the focus to be really picking up the skills needed for watercolor. I still need a lot of black brush work practice and oh, lots of practice still. But at least I'm feeling somewhat confident, at least with my M. Grahams anyway, and my Shin Hans. I love my Shin Hans, but haven't used those in a while. I'll have to haul those out next time. All right, heat gun before I do a little detail work here. Hmm. 
Hmm. My Princeton, I think it's a Princeton something or the other. Liner brush. I like this. I have a few Zen um, liner brushes too. But I haven't done a lot of practice with them yet. And I really, 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 really like this particular liner brush. So. Oh, Dr. Dot can't hear me, Dot, so maybe that was it. Maybe it just wasn't talking enough. Welcome back, Jillian. Eleven AM Eastern tomorrow for Dorothy Pandora's box. Thank you. 
a little too much water on that. And I'm going to have to, I'm going to be using a little bit of a white pen. Sharon. Sorry. They'd be a little bit fibrous, let me just say. All right, time to do the sticks. And for that, I'm going to use a uh, burnt sienna, I guess. to put I'm just putting a little bit of the uh, warm yellow in with that uh, burnt sienna to
Uh, Deb, these are tequila sunrise. Here's the recipe. For any of you who came in later, spicy tequila sunrise popsicles. That is what they are. Sorry, moment bye. Thanks, Debbie. And you see Eileen stole a bite out of this one. Because <sighs> Eileen's just, you know, bad like that. And it was Joycey who told me that Eileen took the bite, by the way. I believe. All right, so now I need to dry and add my white, and I'm ready. Oh. Oh, well, just because Eileen, you know, she's she can do lots of stuff, so she stole a bite out of my... Uh, Popsicle. The edges are messy. As usual, I always mess up my edges. All right, let me find my white gel pen. Oops. I'll do one of my ink pads here. Okay, um, white gel pen. 
All right, you pet, you, you guys just have to sit this way so you don't knock everything over. All right. White gel pen. Bye, Joyce. Thanks for coming in. All right. I don't know, these gel pens write really well over acrylic, but they don't like to write on watercolor, I find. Of course, maybe it's drying up too, because it is kind of, all right, let's try this one. I think this one's newer, I think it is. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, Mindy. And I think I'm done for tonight um, because my knees are bugging me, my leg. I need to – I should rewrap my bandages, but I'll probably wait until tomorrow. So thank you, everyone, for coming. to my live stream and oh, I apologize obviously there's some family chat going on um, I just want to read for those of you who may not have seen it I want to read um, what I put on the back of my painting let me open it here. Okay. Let 
Thank you, Dar. All right, so on the back of my painting, which I called Uncontained, thanks to Debbie for the title, I wrote, as marbles are marbles no matter the cups, humans are people no matter the color of their skin. During Viola Desmond's time, there were constraints on some people because of the color of their skin, just as some of these marbles are constrained by the glass walls of the jar. Viola bravely broke the boundaries and stood in the spotlight to fight for her rights, which has inspired more and more to fight for freedom from prejudices. When I was born in the Aberdeen Hospital, I had a rare genetic disorder called albinism. That means my skin and my hair is very white, and I am legally blind with only 10% vision, which can't be corrected even with glasses. I am thankful to my wonderful parents who gave me confidence and paved the way for me to attend public school. I became a music teacher and taught for 25 years. For the past couple of years, I have started experimenting with various forms of painting and developed a love for watercolor. Throughout my life, I have experienced social prejudice because of my disability. So I am very proud to submit a painting for this important moment in history. And for the, just a moment here, I need to, I'll show my painting one more time. This is my painting that I entered. Oh, one moment, gotta find it here. Where is it? There is my painting that I entered in the contest. Oh, so if you watch my live stream, you saw me get through it. Thanks, guys. See you at Debbie's.